Hi everyone, this is Badly Bass here, and welcome back to Kosoge. Previously on Kosoge, we became a Boku no Pico. Now we're off to find some other endings and some more choices. The last time I chose Boku no Pico, let's see if it's my choose my chance daily life. That was one of the two bad choices I've made in my life. Do not wait for the sake of your own sanity. Give me a read. Hey! Have you heard about two girls and a cup? Don't Google it. You should totally Google it. I saw it last night on our underground school website. What are you talking about? What I'm saying is... Don't fight over me, ladies. There's enough cup to go around. I mean, Protag Con. Protag Con comes in many different styles. The anime Protag Con. The manga Protag Con. A live movie protag gun, etc. What are you talking about, Kuso? He was born that way. Who said we were fighting over you? It's just that Lin Chan was so busy with protag gun that. Yan Tan! So that's how you were feeling. I'm sorry, Desu. Wait, what's going on? You weren't crushing on me? Who said anything about you? Scram. I'm trying to make up with my girlfriend. OTP. And just for your information, that two girls with a cup was just us playing beer pong. No, it wasn't. Google it. I hope you enjoy yourself, Protagon. All by yourself. Forever alone. Isn't that too harsh? Yin Chen. No, it's fine. He can take it. He's a monster just. Now, where were we, babe? He enjoys being in the yard. Something about our relationship? You think everything will be okay? Everything is gonna be daijoubu. Yuri Kumarashi. Everything's gonna be okay. Yaki-chan, ex in and chan and Game over. Now this is the part when I had the option of taking his hand. I'll take it this time. Yeah, I suppose. Thanks. I took the boy's hand and he pulled me up. Hey, do you go to Kaso Gakuen? Kaso Gakuen means shit school. You know, this is a shit game. Yeah? How did you know? You're wearing my school's uniform, of course. The sickly generic high school uniform that seems to belong to any typical Japanese high school. Yeah. Their uniforms don't even match. Boy Kun is actually psychic or very self aware that it's only one school within this game. Well, since you're very perspective, I suppose we can introduce ourselves. Oh, okay. I'm classmate A. You can call me Classmate Gun. His name seemed kind of plain. He also didn't seem to have any identifying features. Almost a bit faceless. Classmate Gun's face emoji is called Lenny. Lenny was born in 4chan. Also, if you couldn't guess, Classmate Gun is your classmate who you don't care about in dating sims, but you will care about him now. Okay, I'm called the protagonist. You can call me Protag Gun. Oh, okay. He must be an NPC. NPC means not playing character. Actually, you don't really get to play anyone else, so everyone else is an NPC too. The school bell rang loudly. Seeing that it was just a street ahead from where we were standing. Sorry, gotta go. See you at school. I bid farewell to Classmate Con and quickly left him in the dust. Goodbye, Emoji. Those were hurting to get to class. I noticed that classmate gun was going the opposite way. I ride the Kasuk Akuen. Let's climb the invisible gates this time. There are no gates here because of the photo. Though it is an authentic place in Japan. To find out more, please read the credits. I guess I should climb over the gates. Because that's such a great idea. Never mind the possibility that I could be caught by a security guard for suspicious activity. 
so I perched my foot into the mill gate and climbed upwards. I picked up the pace and hopped over to the other side. Ohio? Ohio means good morning, you vacas. This is when classmate cuts switches to using Lenny emojis because they actually show up properly in the game compared to other Japanese emojis with strange characters regarding a Japanese font. G -g when did you get here? I followed after you. We did go to the same school after all, Moge. Was this guy pulling my leg? He got here before I did. And he wasn't even sweating. Was he Goku or something? I could say Superman. That's what I would say if I was still in America. That's because it's both Goku and Superman. It's called Goku Superman. Goku Per. That's what it is. Fusion. Well, we better go in before we caught by the teachers. Yeah. We went into the building quietly as possible. From there, classmate Kun and I walked our separate ways, but somehow I knew we would meet again. Let's play it safe this time. I'm Brotai Kun. Don't talk to me, I'm very shy! So where do I sit? Can you sit in the back, you know, second seat from the, you know, next to the window? That plain, unimportant looking boy. I looked back and I saw a classmate Kun. The song is playing, but I have to mute it out because it's very famous. But I would totally recommend, like, playing that song over this scene. Ohio, pro Tycon. What? Oh, I mean, eh. What's wrong? Oh, I mean, what's wrong? Do you have no class with A? Yeah, we met this morning. Fight me, nerd. I see. Well, I guess pro Tycon is moving along quickly. In romance. Uh. What do you mean by that? Exactly. Now, let's start class. Yata! Yata means yay. Oh, that was a lunch bell. Sounds like the school bell, but it's a signifying that it's lunchtime. I stayed seated in my chair in days, possibly from incoming hunger pains. Perhaps I should get something to eat. Hey! What the hell, man? Don't give me a heart attack. <laughs> oh, are we using American bro speak? I got it, bro. Bro culture is the guy thing where dudes are guys being bros, brah. No, I'll use it when we actually become bros. Okie dokie. Go, man. Go, man means sorry. Classmate Kun is actually sorry about infringing the bro code. Growl. It seems you're hungry. Obviously. Why don't we go to the lunch room? I'll treat you as a fellow classmate. Take his offer? I'm gonna save. Sure, sounds good. As we arrived in the cafeteria, I noticed a lack of human life forms. It's a common everyday scene in dating sims. Where is everyone? Damn, I look really good, don't I? I'm kinda cute in a way. They probably took every last thing on the menu and left. Just us. What? Really? Now what do we eat now? We can work off our hunger by exercising. In the sports field just outside of this lunchroom. Oh, uh, how convenient. I suppose we should work off our hunger like real Japanese men. Gotta get that sweat going. Mmm. If they were real Japanese men. Growl. But the hunger was too strong. As if someone had just gone to the kitchen to make me a sandwich and then stabbed me because I told them to make me that damn sandwich. Don't tell anyone to shut up and go to the kitchen. You will be stabbed. Or like when you cheat on your girlfriend and she stabs you and takes you to a nice boat after chopping off your head. School days. Mm -hmm. I'm too hungry to move. Lasmikan on the ran was sprinting across the field like a gazelle. He sure isn't looking hungry. I'm going to the vending machine for a drink. Oh, 
Could you give me a milk drink? <laughs> yeah, sure. Maybe you'll care for the vintage team. Maybe you should give for the and just ignore this dialogue. Really, I think you should have gone and gotten both of us drinks. Cause I just got transferred here. I might get lost my way to the vending machine. I head out to look for the vending machine. This is not a school. There they were, sitting in a nice row. I get to this place, I rummage inside my pockets. Luckily I had enough for two drinks. I placed the right amount of Japanese yen into the machine for that milk drink classmate Kun Wan. Plop! Then I inserted the same amount of change for another drink. Eager for a rare strawberry milk drink that was so much better than that Nesquik crap. But instead, plop! Kian came another plain milk drink. What? You gotta be kidding me. Out of hunger and frustration, I kicked the vending machine. You baka! Give me my Inchiko Pantsu. Strawberry panties. Yeah. I kicked it a few times to something fell out from the machine. It was a never played milk drink. Kazo! That's the game, guys. That's it. Seriously angered, I took the three milk drinks in the half and spat the machine. Pluchui! So I walked with the machine, a truck crashed into it. Trucks tend to hit vending machines often in animes, and attempts to get rid of the main character. Served you right, you unintelligible machine. Then I returned to the sports field. Here's your drink. Of milk. You come from no regions? Oh, fix! You got three? I handed him his drink and started opening mine. Well, there was some complications, and... I then took the straw and punctured a hole in the carton. Oh, no! I stopped to listen before sipping the drink. I heard about that vending machine. Is it cursed? Did you send me to a cursed machine? Oh, my God. I heard that it's haunted. Someone died inside of it. Don't ask how someone dies in the vending machine. It's really painful. There's a lot of blood. At some point, your blood gets replaced by sweet Coca-Cola and snacks. And you think, this is not too bad, I like Coca-Cola and snacks. But then you realize you need blood to live, and it's really painful. Are you Baka? By then, I already ripped the straw from the juice box and stabbed it into the opening. I placed my lip balm lips and sucked ferociously. Wait! Don't! But, ew. I spat a taste of sour milk. My god. A tangy and curd texture sailed into the back of my throat, making me gag. Bleh, this is disgusting. That's what I was trying to warn you of. You weren't warning me about anything. I quickly threw all the milk drinks in a nearby trash can. The flashing memory of me drinking rotten and milk made me nauseous. This must be karma. Vengeance from the haunted vending machine that died to a truck. I was jealous of my ravishing looks. I am very pretty. See? I told you the vending machine was haunted. And I can rock a dress really well. What does it have to do with the fact that I drank spoiled milk? Now I feel a so coming on. I think you should head to the nurse's office for some laxatives. What are laxatives? Don't know. No, it does the opposite. Laxatives are supposed to make you number two more. Oh, whatever. Just take me there. Damn, my stomach churned as we moved through the hallways and climbed the stairs. Pretty soon there's gonna be some shitty jokes around here. We finally arrived at the nurse's office. But yeah, she was out. She probably went out for a lunch break. Well, who could have guessed? What a shitty idea. I guess you'll have to suffer throughout the day with overflowing intestines. Yeah, life's a real crapshoot. I guess. Or I could skip school and head home. What a great idea! I'll come along to see you home. Mm. Wow, thanks man, and I hardly even know you. Well, for the sake of a classmate. Even one who I only just met today and who keeps bad mouth at me. <laughs> classmate gun is very nice. What did you say? 
Never mind. Let's get going. <laughs> Out of school. Gonna get a bit of that pro tank. <laughs> hey, wanna go to the park? No, because my anus is hurting. It's gonna be hurting later. Well, you didn't have to be so specific. Oh, whatever. Just let me sit on the bench and you can play on a slide or whatever little children play on. Gosh, sitting down feels like I'm dying. Are you feeling any better? <laughs> Do I look like I'm feeling any better? I bet you look good on a dress. Maybe a little bit of a poke and they'll peek it. <laughs> I saw that ending. I know what you really like, eh? Well, see, I just wouldn't bring blue in the face. I don't know. Ugh, whatever. Then suddenly, a bunch of rough and tough looking boys showed up. Delinquents. Oh no. As I was about to get up to escape, the delinquents noticed how pretty I was. Last made a on the chorus, looked dumb as usual because he only has one facial expression. He did not notice the crowd coming over. Hey, let's go! I took on a shirt to persuade him to move. What's wrong, Protagon? Like a conveniently placed pop point that couldn't be avoided, the delinquents approached us. It was unavoidable. Like a random encounter in some kind of JRPG. Well, 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 if it isn't to you for young men skipping school. It looks like one of them has white hair. Where? Let me see. Boys APC are females of your imagination. They pushed classmate kind of the way just to get in front of me. Crying over me, one of them tugging my hair. Ow! Let go! Don't talk back if you don't want to get hurt, Dante, the Demon Slayer. Now hand over your money. Well, he's loud the stolen money. Yeah, and the stolen lovers. Police like taking your money and your girlfriend in animes. They totally NTR you. Part of a lot of dojins. Hey! Don't touch him! He's mine. Before a classmate couldn't can intervene, he was punched to the ground by one of the faceless bullies. Hey! Then, one of them took out a knife. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Knives. Knives. Seriously. The first boy looked stunned and a bit flustered. What's so bad about knives? Isn't that bit overdone? Don't you have some other weapon you can use that isn't sharp? Like a gun? Like America? Or freaking Yankees, for God's sakes. Be a bit more innovative. Protag Gun is used to having his rivals throwing mountains and missiles at him for when he was busy training in the forest. For more information, watch the second training arc. Ugh, this always happens when I get friend over knife. Damn, my foolish cur is an impulsive shown in nature. Shut it! You're in no possession of Chris, that's what I use to scare my victims. I'll hand it over. He started to branch his knife towards me, possibly set off by my offhanded comments. Oh no, these faceless bullies with no physical mass are throwing words at me. I'm so defenseless. Protect kind of continues to gain self-awareness and break the fourth wall. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Shut it. You cliched anime white haired Gary Stew. Hey, that hurt. Well, the truth hurts. And so does my knife. Oh shit. The third boy collapsed. Then the second boy. I was to find that classmate kinda to feed them both. Don't underestimate me. I made up a fight me emojis. I'll flip a table on your ass. You bastard. Cockslap. Boy, he started to get clumsy from the burnt defeat of his accomplices. D -d no got me any closer! You monster! Or else what? I'm a sports junkie. And an athletic one at that. Classmate kind of secretly on steroids. Why do you think he's bald? 
One day he'll evolve and become One Punch Man. And with a swoop, bam, that went the last boy. Oh, thanks man, you saved me. Well, it was for my friend. Yeah, I guess. Are you okay? Well, other than the fact that I'm very in need of a toilet, not good. How about you? Just a bruise here and there. That's good. So, I guess we're friends now? Yeah. So our relationship dropped a flag. But perhaps it can go further. We went back to the street after we called the cops about the Yankees. The police didn't answer because they were on a secret important mission to stop people comes reign of terror in the true end, which you haven't seen yet. We both went home in safe and sound, going our separate ways. I sat on toilets once I got home and farted for the rest of the day, contemplating the homoerotic feelings caused by classmate Kun. First is the end of my rather exciting first day of high school in Japan. <laughs> Time skip. Three days later. A lot has happened within just a few days. I hung out with classmate Kun every one of those days 24 7. We decided to hang out today too. It was special since it was 4th day anniversary, since it was 4 days since we met. So he took me out on a candlelit dinner, with my black credit card. Hey. Took it from his roots and iron as a fucking boss. A protagonist needs all of his resources to become a great protagonist. Who else must have protag- protag comes father. After our candlelit dinner that I wasn't sure it was super romantic or just Bromantic. We decided to stay the night in the hotel. For more information on bro words, watch my playthrough of Akibus Strip. How was the meal? The best money could buy. Of course, it was a good meal. They had the bestest kusso they could afford. Believe it! Not literal kusso! I flashed my black credit card confidently. It was my father's after all, since I still had a year before I could take over his multi-millionaire company. Hee <laughs> hee! Nice! But once this conversation settled down, I just realized... Dun dun dun! There was only one Ben. You only need one. There was supposed to be some dramatic music here to emphasize Protect Count's desperate situation. Why did we reserve a one-bed hotel room when we had a black master card? The hotel staff, including me, secretly shipped Classmate Kun X Protag Kun. Beats me. Shall we hand them in? But it's a single bed, why did your voice change? And it's been enough to hold the both of us. Classmate Kun quickly stripped himself and jumped in the bed, covering his nude body in a flash. His anime nipples were non-existent. He left enough room on his left side and waved me over. Uho, Otoko. He patted the empty side of the bed seductively. Here's some room for you. Get in. I was silent, but I obeyed. I true st stripped as much as possible and got in, if you know what I mean. He left his heart proxy for briefs on. It was nothing weird, right? Just bros being bros. Ha 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 ha. Don't lie to yourself. Good night. The lamp was shut off and classmate Kun drifted off into a quiet slumber. I, on the hand, didn't get as much sleep as I wanted because of secret reasons. And nothing happened that night. It was a new day of school, and a new morning after that incident. That incident, of which should not be named, was probably so nerve-wracking that I accidentally drank spoiled milk that morning at the hotel. I don't know why there was spoiled milk at the hotel, but I shall sue them later. But ever since yesterday, I have seen classmate Con in a different light. He probably saw his junk. It's like he became more attractive and rare. So he had upgraded from NPC status to main romance. It's not like I'm using my Bishy vision to change how he looks or anything, or that I'm being delusional and seeing him differently. 
This person is, you know, not the full boyfriend though. What are you doing? Uh, nothing, it's just monologuing. Oh, cool. So, do you want to skip school? Classmate Khan is a very dedicated Koso Gakuen student. W with you? I I'm sorry, I have to go to school. But you always skip school with me. What's the point of being a student if you're just going to skip? Were they just in for the free school you report? It wasn't free. I I'm sorry. I just couldn't accept this invitation properly. Damn, why am I such a baka? Nothing could have stayed the same after what happened last night. What happened last night? I'm sorry, classmate Kun. I don't think I can be your best friend anymore. I can only be your lover. Class ended, and I didn't see classmate come coming after all. At all. I wonder if my refusal to skip school from hurt him. With these troubled thoughts in my head, and with my stomach being troubled by the spoiled milk, I tried to tread back home. Down the stairs, I began flashback into my first few days with classmate Kun. The only days I've spent here. He was your average Joe, but surprisingly he was quite popular with the girls, as well as kind to anyone who spoke to him. Classmate Kun was actually the original protagonist before Protag Kun transferred in. That's why he's so plain. But he was especially kind to me. He walked me home after my vending machine incident. And then we encountered those bullies. And he saved me in the park. Oh, this park looks very similar to the one classmate me Kun saved me at. Even the pain I felt in my anus <laughs> was the same as the pain I feel now, except of a heavier heart. Protagon is a talented poet when he's in love. Luckily, I do believe there's a bathroom around here. As I quickly searched the park, I came upon the park bathroom. And there was a bench in front of it. I looked over and I made eye contact with... Yanaika. Uho, Yatoko. Uho, Yatoko. There, on that park bench was a good looking man. Yanaika. He said as he slowly slipped down his jacket, revealing his white button down shirt. B but. I swallowed my spit. Oh! What a white button down shirt it was! So big! Are you sure referring to his white shirt? Don't waste my time. We probably went to the public bathroom. Oh! Oh. Oh no! It's coming! Iku! Iku! Iku, yeah. We both shot together. At the same time. Still not getting irony in an R15. Everything was such a blur. A literal blur. When I came to, I saw the wall in the bathroom stall. What, what happened? I think you passed out. But from what? You drank bad milk this morning, remember? Spell milk ruins everything in life. Be sure to check the expiration date when you shop for milk. I did too. So... You fainted from pooping. I need classmate gun though. Actually, I'm still pooping in a never stall. Ah, they drank back bad milk together. That's sweet. and smelly. Sorry for the smell. Uh, okay. You thought it was something else? There was one possibility it was something else. Yeah, and I can. Uh, nothing. Oh yeah, sorry about this morning. Avoiding you was wrong with me. Nah, don't mind it. Actually, I was a bit hurt when you didn't skip school with me. You was a bit... but hurt. And ran away from me. Sorry. No, it's not just that. I'm also mad at myself. Because I was hiding something from you. I, I wanted to tell you this sooner. I probably made you uncomfortable yesterday. My bad. Classmate Kun, best girl. Is that it? No. What I meant to say is... I want the rod of your piper. Daisuke desu. 
I'm not sure if you feel the same, but... I like you too. I love you. Let's get married. I-I love you too! I'm so happy. So does that mean we're a couple now? This is a customary anime couple initiation ritual. Don't ask me that! But I do... Daisuke this. So you wanna go back to America and get married? Oh, I see how it is. Go back to your toilet and finish pooping. Classmate come. True end. Game over. Yonaika. Yonaika. I said that I silly unbuttoned in my sweater. I suppose he was the one that was supposed to say Yonaika. You know, if you actually know the reference. He was sitting on the bench after all. Don't read Kuso Miso technique for your own sanity. You should totally look up all these things as thing references. I'm endorsing them. Officially. Officially endorsed, right here. Don't waste my time. W wait I just want to talk. I need to use the bathroom. Can we talk about it later? We need to talk now. Let's talk in the bathroom stall. That's not a great place to talk about your friendship. I come off the toilet. How awkward that would be for it. Uh, okay. So what did you want to say? Hurry up. Even though I said this, I knew what that was the matter. What was the matter? <laughs> However, I feel my anus couldn't hold out much longer. This is when the shitty humor gets out of hand. I'm not sure, but I think Protag Gun is avoiding me. Man, we look so small compared to the toilets. Like, look at him. It's like, it's like he's flying over the toilet, and he's spalled in it at the same time. Sorry, it was a novel perspective joke. I, I may or may not be. I want to know. Why? I'll do anything. Anything for you to be my friend again. Really? Oh no. I don't think I can keep it in any longer. I think I have something to tell you too. What is it? I have to take a shit. I... I, I really, really have to take a shit. Like... Need to poop. <laughs> this is... It's the start of a scat dojin right here. Look at my poop. What did you think? It's very... big. In the distinctive line of Kusuma Ziyutink, a bar manga that you should go out of your way to read. Just remember... Yanaika. Kusuma Ziyutink, bad end. Game over.